Well, on the 6th of November, right here in Sydney, the new Australian Baseball League will kick off. The reinvented Australian Baseball League, and there'll be some very, very excited baseball fans right here in Sydney. No more so than the man who's been at the helm of this new Sydney franchise and uh, been doing a tremendous amount of work behind the scenes to get them on the field. It's happening in a few weeks' time. Eddie Bray, it's been a long time coming. You must be very excited about what's uh, coming up. Oh, look, it's, it, I'm ecstatic. It's, this is fantastic. Uh, we're five weeks away and it's a pretty exciting time. Everything's starting to come together. Um, we've got good crowd sales. Um, we've got a good roster coming this year. It's going to be pretty exciting times. Let's start with the roster that's, uh, that's happening this year. You've got some trials that are actually coming up in a few weeks' time. You've got Glenn Williams at the helm. I'd say with the, uh, this pro guys who are due to come back, Sydney should have a fairly good side that's, uh, that's coming up this year. Yeah, look, it's uh, the strongest I, I can uh, recall for some period of time. We've got a, a very strong uh, lineup. We've got some uh, actual major league players that are going to be playing on that roster. And uh, I think yeah, it's open trials, but uh, I think it's going to be very difficult if you're not signed professionally to make a roster. That's the, uh, the good stop that we've got here in New South Wales. Well, Eddie, I'm a family man. I'm going to be coming yes, out. Are, I am a family man. What am, what am I going to see when I bring out the, the, fam, the wife and the kids? Out to the game, what are we going to see besides the baseball this year? Uh, well, look, we, we follow a minor league baseball format. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, the core of our product is the game of baseball. But what you're going to find is you're going to find good value in regards to ticket pricing. Um, you're going to find good value at the concession stands. You're going to find a more professional offer than what we've offered previously in, in the Clash and Shield format. And you're going to find a lot of entertainment and resident test during the game. So there'll be a lot there for the kids to do instead of annoying mum and dad. So mum and dad can watch the game and kids can run off behind and there's activities for them. Oh yeah, look, there's fun and games. There's, there's obviously a lot of uh, traditional involvement in the game that, that follows that minor league format. But we'll also have off the field entertainment for them. So child amusements, um, you know, animals out here from Featherdale, Wildlife Park, etc. So, yeah, it's a lot to offer just beyond the game of baseball. Good to hear. So, speaking of crowds, Eddie, last year, through the Claxton Shield, it's safe to say there weren't bumper crowds each and every home game. What are we expecting in terms of, uh, of home crowds, or what are you hoping to attract each and every game? Okay, well, the good thing is that, um, as we speak today, we're two-thirds of the way through selling out the stadium for um, every game of the season. Um, as we speak, I think we've only got about 200 seats left in the grandstand for opening night. But you'd expect opening night to be a pretty strong night anyway. Um, and and we're, we're shooting for a crowd of 1,200, but realistically, given the energy and enthusiasm out there at the moment, we're probably going to uh, conservatively top 1,500 on, on most openings. Um, we've geared some things to, to make it a little bit easier for crowds to get here. Uh, we're one of the few states that are pioneering Sunday games. And that's all about being able to give people from the Central Coast, uh, Manly, Cronulla, for example, uh, a good time to be able to get across here early in the morning, watch a game of baseball early afternoon and be home by 6 o'clock that night. So, yeah, we've, we've got some things set up so that it makes Bop accessible as opposed to the old days where it was pretty hard to get to a game of baseball. Well, mate, with Blacktown Olympic Centre being the home ground for the Blue Sox, are you looking at taking any games to any regional areas this season? Um, we experimented with that last year and we possibly could do that down, down the track. This year we'll be consolidating our base here at Blacktown Olympic Park. Um, it, was a, it was a good exercise going down to MacArthur last year. We had an excellent crowd down there and, and um, in fact we probably had one of our, our most um, energetic games where the storm, storm came in during that game. I, I love think, that baseball out there mate. Uh, well apparently they do, it's, it's rumoured that there's a few passionate guys out that way. Um, yeah, you know, I think in the first year it's critical that we establish our base at our, our heartland, our home, which is Blacktown Olympic Park, and from there, um, you know, as we expand our series, because we're a three or four game uh, series each time that we're at home, and, and it's difficult to keep the, the uh, crowd fresh through that, so we'll explore that option down the track, but I guess the first thing we need is um, other facilities through New South Wales to, to, to come up to standard in regards to uh, amenities, um, concessions, lighting, etc. With a lot of the pro guys coming back, are they going to be accessible this year for uh, events and things like that for the public to meet and greet these guys pretty much? Oh, yeah, look, definitely. Um, I mean, we're only as strong as the, the visibility of the product that we've got, so yeah, we'll, we'll be out there as much as we can, whether it be at a junior clinic, uh, we've got a couple of uh, um, you know, baseball signing days at an elite sports facility down at Condon Park. Um, 
and, and whether it just be a PR exercise of the club. You know, uh, look, hop on the phone, come and, and talk to us and we'll see what we can do. And, and let's face it, Sydney's going to have some of the biggest names in Australian baseball playing this year. They have the likes of Ryan Rowland Smith and Trent Alchin. Having those as the heroes of this team, it's, it's a great thing for the club. Oh yeah, that's, that's what I spoke about before in regards to, I guess, the professional strength of baseball here in New South Wales. I mean, um, and it, it's not just the guys that are playing in the park. I mean, uh, to your point, Matthew, in regards to um, MacArthur last season, you know, Brad Thomas was sitting there watching that game just as one of the guys sitting in the crowd. So, you know, it's just to have a guy like that that's a starting pitcher in Major League Baseball this year that's just there to come and cheer the guys on. It's, it's just a, a huge thing that we take for granted that the, the other states would just jump at if they were able to have that opportunity. Well, mate, some of the best organisations in the world for the kids. They want to know, is there going to be a mascot? Are we going to have a mascot? Who's um, our guy to turn to for the kids? We, we do have a mascot coming. We have two mascots coming. Two mascots? Yes, two mascots coming. Um, Are you going to reveal exclusively tonight for uh, what does it take to? No. <laughs> but I'm hoping you'll invite me back in the next few weeks and I'll be able to tell you more about it. I mean, we, yes, we've got two mascots coming. Um, I think we can have quite a bit of fun with those mascots uh, given our name and the, the character. So if you've seen our logo, think along those lines and we've got a mascot that looks like that. We've got another mascot that's going to be, um, I guess, a little bit of a bad boy, I think he is, and, and he's going to fight the fight for the Blue Sox. And, uh, and we can have, uh, the crowd can have a lot of fun with him. Um, we plan to run a couple of uh, name and mascot competitions uh, along the way as well, so hence why I'm not revealing all tonight. Um, the second reason is I really want to get invited back, so that's why I don't want to reveal it tonight. Well, you're going well so far. We'll invite you back so far. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, mate, for all the punters out there, you've obviously got open trials coming up, and you're going to be selling tickets. So where, where can the uh, regular people find out all this information? Well, look, it's not my idea. I hadn't actually considered selling tickets to the open trials, but um, I might go back to my office and work that one out. But uh, the open trials are uh, uh, Thursday night, September the 30th. Uh, should be a huge night out here. It'll be the very first training session for the Sydney Blue Sox. It also happens to be the uh, uh, Select Your Seat uh, night for our season ticket holders. And, and uh, we've got a huge Blue Sox army here in Sydney. Um, we actually uh, outnumber the other states in regards to the actual number of supporters. So it's been a fantastic effort by the Sydney supporters. Um, there'll be a free sausage sizzle out here. And, and uh, just meet and greet the players afterwards. So it's going to be a huge night. So if you know of anyone that would love to come to the Open Triads, if they can uh, email Glenn Williams, uh, whose email address is glennwilliams at baseballnewsouthwales.com.au, um, he'll be more than happy and accommodating for coming along for trials. Before you leave us, what is it going to take for the Blue Sox to bring it home this year? We were a bit stiff last year. Uh, we certainly came in under the pump at the start of the season. Both myself and Glenn started the season very late. We didn't even have a team uh, four weeks out, and uh, you know, for Glenn to achieve what he did last year was was incredible. If I look at what we've got as a shadow squad written down on paper, um, we're probably 50% again better side than what we were last year.